All right, hey guys. Um, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make um this kind of scene right here. <clears throat> it's a big fireball coming uh, out of the end of the tunnel, and then I just have a text with my name right there, and um, then in the tunnel-ish thing, we have a whole bunch of these boxes coming out of the way. <coughs> so basically, it's just that with big fireball on the end. Alright, before we start this tutorial, um, you're gonna need to go in and download two plugins. Well, you don't need two plugins, but it'll help you. You need the one though. Um, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave a link for this site below. But um, if you go to emberintherain.com, there's three free plugins for Cinema 4D on here. You just need to make a, a profile. Um, the one that you're going to need is PXG Planet X Generator 1.1. You're going to need to download that. And then you're going to need to download Selection Tools 1.0. And um, once you've downloaded that file, um, I'm not sure what it's named. I don't know what it's named, but <clears throat> you will. What you'll do to put the plugins in is you'll come, you'll find your Cinema 4D. Um, icon, right click on it, go open file location, it'll open you to the file location, go in plugins, right click, and go and um, paste the folder with your, your plugin in it, um, make sure you have, also you, I'm almost 100% sure you have to download, um, I'll check for you guys. <coughs> it's really slow. I got certain recorder and I got and we got people on iPods and police station. Uh, anytime now. There's a preset. Yeah. You must download the preset folder for this plugin to work correctly. So after you download the Planet X generator, um, copy and paste the preset folder into your Planet X generator and just put that in plugins. If you come into Cinema 4D, um, if you have this open where you paste it, you have to close it and open again. Come into plugins, and I have it right here, and it's right there. All right, um, we're gonna just delete this and start a new scene all right come on there we go <coughs> all right first thing that you want to do oh yeah and after you download the um, selection tools to do the exact same thing to install it um, come in and grab a box or a cube sorry um, you click and drag on this yellow handle so you got um so it's around 900 centimeters long. And for segments, add 30. Can't see in the dark here. 30, 15, 15. So you got um, all these segments here. And now click the make editable button, which is this yellow sphere going into this world. Change it to polygon mode and grab the live selection tool. Make sure only um, select visible elements. Come into the front here. It's gonna make my thing bigger so I can easily select all of. Come into the right view and select all of them, and then delete. <coughs> and if we go back into our uh, 3D perspective view. Um, zoom in on it 
um, in the cube, so now we can see in it. <coughs> go plugins again, go selection tools, and grab random selection. Now, um, it says selection percentage. I put 75% I want selected, so when I click, it's going to randomly select 75% of the polygons on here. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go bevel, and um, what you gotta make sure you do is no I'm gonna go extrude not bevel I think I said bevel um, come into the extrude box change the variation of the offset to 90% and uncheck preserve groups and now when we extrude inner inwards <clears throat> if we render it's gonna be really ugly oh, global elimination And if we render it, I got ambient occlusion on. <coughs> it's going to look like this with all these little um, squares coming out of the walls and ceiling and floor. Alright, now time to make our big mighty fireball. Come into plugins come into planet x generator and grab a sun sun's going to be massive so just grab a scale tool and grab the middle and scale it down to well so it's still a bit bigger than the cube uh, drag it to the end so so it's um I'm just going to add a camera right here so I know where I'm looking. That's exactly where I was looking before. And now if we go over here, it's half outside the box, half inside the box. So now if I go into the camera view by clicking the little black square here. And I'm going to turn off ambient occlusion for now. And if I render we're gonna get this um, <coughs> big yellow ball and it's gonna put off a reddish light because you can change all the settings in the sun box here and then after it renders it'll put a glowish thing and um, what I do since in my Cinema 4D R12 the default color for objects is usually a grayish bluish like like so and then I just put it on the box and if I render again it's not so red <clears throat> and we got a big fireball coming out at the end of the hallway. Um, sun and greeting. Oh shit. And I'm pretty sure that's all good. Now what we're gonna do is grab uh, make a text in my previous video I taught you guys how to make a script of how to make your text fast like I just did clicked one button and got it I'm gonna scroll it down oh, that's a little small let's go like 50 uh, let's see what font I'm gonna use today And let's move it forward. All right. Um, I'm going to add a material onto my text. Why does that always do that? All right. I got to find my. 
material pocket. Um, downloads material pocket. All right, here it is. Uh, <clears throat> I have this folder called this material pack from the 696 baby. Um, it's a free download and it gives you a whole bunch of really, really nice um, textures. And I think I'm going to try out the brass line. It gives you a simple metallic, it gives you x ray, it gives you like the Tron floors, it gives you um, landscape materials, chrome, uh, just blocks, ice materials. It's, it's actually a really amazing material pack. I suggest you go and check it out. I'm going to click and drag and put that on there. see how it looks you can see we don't have any lighting on the front of our uh, coming from the front of our scene so I just added a normal light and I'm gonna put it just outside the box I'm gonna change it to smallest bit tinted yellowish I'm going to change it to volumeric and 90% intensity some lighting setup oh that's bright 40 It's so foggy. No, I'm just gonna keep it a normal light. Ah, there we go. Just don't change it to volumeric. Just keep it a normal light, and it'll be fine. <coughs> All right. And now we can see. <laughs> Mike fell. All right, we can see we have our text here, kind of looks cartoonish. I'm gonna come into render settings and I'm gonna add ambient occlusion. How much time do I have left? Um, too much time I have left. All right, sorry about that. All right, all right, all right. Now I added ambient occlusion in the render settings, default settings, and I'm gonna add global illumination. This might take a minute to render. Um, yeah, while I'm waiting for that to render, um, these three plugins are actually really good. The planet generator has Earth, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Planet X, um, high res Earth, the Moon, um, and everything. This true symmetry is um, really good for modeling. Um, if you model half of the object, you can use this and it'll mirror the image so you have the exact same other half. And um, if you really want to go in depth about the plugins, uh, there's a guy right here that goes and he talks about the plugins. Um, you can donate to the guy that made this plugins. Yeah, you guys should go check them out. All you need to do is make a username. Oh man. Hopefully, I have enough time. Alright, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna. Um, wait for it to render because it's taken a long time. All right, well, um, I was letting this render. I figured out I don't like the font that much or the texture that I put on, so I just changed those two. And yeah, 
<coughs> it gives me this look. Um, you can change the material of the walls or anything. Um, or you can animate the fireball by clicking on it from no, I'm not putting it on from this side. Uh, adding a keyframe. Moving up 60. And then adding another one. Now if we come back, our fireball will come closer. Yeah, um, so that's basically our tutorial. Oh, and a couple of, I guess you could say, follow ups or little notifications for my lava ball tutorial um, it seems to be getting a lot of views and for those who cannot find the lava material in um, the content browser um, I'll try to find it for you guys one second um, user materials. go under wait never mind those are my materials um, Go under Prime, Miscellaneous, oh, Prime Materials, Miscellaneous, and scroll down, and it's right there. Um, I'm not sure where it is in Cinema 4D 11.5, like I said before. Um, another one is when I was making the basic um, information tutorial. When I was doing the sweep nerds, um, I put a, a circle spline into it, but um, I also would ha forgot to make a normal spline, like draw a spline out for the circle to follow, so that's why um, that didn't work. Uh, anything else that I want to say? I've been working on, um, <coughs> I modeled, uh, Intervention a while ago, and, um, <coughs> this came out pretty good, um, I think my biggest achievement on this gun was either modeling the, this handle here, or, I don't know, the handle of the gun, like the main handle, like this part, came out really well, I find. Um, yeah, the hand is really messed up right here. But yeah, that hand was, because uh, I animated the gun to go up and looks like it's reloading, but it needs tweaking. But yeah, um, just little follow-ups on different projects and different information that you guys might need. Alright, um, if you have any comments or questions, um, feel free to pri private message me or comment. Um, any suggestions, just leave them for to in the comment section below. Um, like the video, guys. Uh, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.